Okay, kitties, so here we have something from the Nirvana Beth and Buddy sub box that we had gotten a ways back. Now, this was all a uh, Brothers Grimm type deal. Nirvana Beth and Buddy. I am loving the smell of this. Let me get one last whiff. Oh my god, it smells so good. It reminds me of a product that I had when I was a kid. I don't know what, why it does, but what lies beneath the shell of this golden wonder? <gasps> Let's find out. There's something in here. Let's get the, we gotta get the paper off. Where's the knife? The knife. This is my bath knife. If you're gonna use a knife for baths or anything like that, you do not put it back in the kitchen. Now, she did a sub box, she sent one to me, and I loved it. But this little guy was so pretty that I had actually put him in a showcase and did not do him. But then I just figured now, hey, he's so gorgeous, we have to share him with the world. So, as you may see, we have an egg. I'm assuming that it's a color that what lies beneath this gorgeous, <gasps> look at all the gold coming off him. I'm assuming it's a color. I'm assuming that it's just going to be a really pretty color. I don't really think there's anything actually in in here. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't. it's not making a shaky noise or anything like you would normally hear. Um, but he is very heavy and very dense, so I'm going to help him out here. He, he sinks. He does not float. Not a deal breaker whatsoever. I don't really give a shit if they sink or float. I just like them, and I love the smell. Oh, man, I still wish I had that, that card from that box, but it's in my office, and as you know, I am in my bedroom. Um, technically, I'm in the bathroom in the bedroom. <laughs> Look, it's got like a little golden speck spot there. And Bugs is out, out there playing. There is little specks of golden goodness all throughout my water. And I do know she uses the, the uh, biodegradable um, uh, glitter that's meant for this. Like the same type of stuff that like Lush uses and everything else. I know she uses that stuff. And it is expensive. Whoo! Okay, so your girl went ahead and attempted to buy some. Because I was making a couple of uh, like bath bomb, like just Christmas baskets for, you know, some family, things like that. So, you know, three bath bomb, block of soap, and two bubble bars in each one. And then we put in like little bath goodies. Um, the scrubby gloves, we put in... You know, like the exfoliating gloves, we put in uh, loofahs, all kinds of cutesy little things, hairbrushes, you know, just cute little things for family members that you don't really know what the hell to get them. So, you give them a bath uh, basket. <laughs> so I went ahead and I made up a few of those, made up a couple of them for the girls at my uh, husband's job, his secretary, things like that. And, uh, well, technically she's everybody's secretary, but... <laughs> I went to buy some of that gold biodegradable glitter because I thought it was going to be a perfect thing to cover like maybe one of these ones in the center in the gold like this bath bomb because I love this bath bomb so much. It just looks so beautiful. Wow. For just doing a couple, I mean if you're going to do it, you know, constantly, I would say go for it. Spend that cash and make those gorgeous bath bombs. But I was only going to do a couple of bath bombs and never use this stuff again. And having to, like, you know, de-stash it in the whole nine, it's a pain in the ass. You know, whatever I had left, you gotta, you know, give it the perfect measure in, make sure somebody is okay with the sale of it, the whole nine. It's just a pain in the ass to resell something when you're not using the rest of it. So I backed away from that. But when I saw how much it's costing these ladies to get this gold biodegradable glitter, it is quite pricey. Not only per product, but you ship it. Um, the place I was going through was in the UK. I do a lot of my shopping through the UK. Uh, my, one of my best friends lives in the UK, so I do a lot of my shopping there um, and have things sent, you know, sent here to the US. And yeah, I mean, even if I did find it here in the US, I, it, it's still expensive, you know, it's still an expensive product. This is actually really beautiful. So I think I was right, I think it was a color. It was the blue colorant beneath the golden egg. We have a lot left. That's a big old bomb left. But the water is so beautiful. And you can hear my husband scoofing in here with his little slippers. <laughs> Look at the water. It's just a gorgeous blue with all that twinkle and that sparkle. So, man, my hat tips off to you. 
Nirvana Bath and Body. This sub box was awesome. This bomb itself is amazing. Like, this bomb itself is so cool. The fragrance is so good. I'm just gonna let him sink. I'm gonna let him do his thing. I'm gonna go ahead and let him just flow out. This is the volcano that people talk about. Everybody loves the volcano eruption. Isn't it so just like calming and relaxing? Just to sit here and look at that. I could watch this all day. It's just so beautiful and relaxing to look at this. My hand is actually burning. <laughs> my water is so hot. My hand got hot. I always throw some nail polish on my hand. I have been spending days trying to do my nails. We got the acrylic part finally filed down and nice. And it all seemed together nicely here. <laughs> but now it's time to start on designing them. And I got one done. So I got one designed. That's it. Takes me forever to do my nails. Especially with a two-year-old. You get one nail done per day. <laughs> and then you take them off and do it all over again. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got left now. Isn't that just so beautiful? I'm going to try and see if we can give him a crush. Can we give him a crush? <gasps> we gave him a crush. But he's very dense, so I don't think I can crush any more of him. There we go. We got a little more. So foamy and pretty. Okay, so let's go moisture. Without him even being fully done, let me give him a little stir. Mix him in. No stainage. We do have some foaminess going on here. I'm assuming bubble. Don't know, but we're going to find out. Uh, moisture. I would have to say the moisture is, I want to say a good eight. Not greasy. Just nice, soft, moisturizing, so very soft and like slick, but not a grease feel. So not a heavy, it's not heavy. It's a very thin layer of like moisture on your skin. It doesn't feel heavy and thick. It feels very silky. So yes, I'm gonna turn the water on. It's gonna be obnoxiously loud and you're gonna get annoyed. So lower your volume, yank your earbuds, here it goes. Now what we're doing is checking to see if it bubbles. So I put on the highest pressure setting on the shower head, and we go ahead and see if we're going to get some bubbles. It looks like we are getting bubbles. So it looks like this bath bomb was an all-around three-in-one. It's moisturizing. It bubbles like a bubble, like, you know, bubble bath type bubbling. So you don't need a bath melt. You don't need a bubble bar. All you need is the one bomb. It colored. It's fragrant. It's beautiful and it's sparkly. So it is definitely a two thumbs up. I do see the bubbles are starting to die down quick, but if you have a jetted bathtub, a jacuzzi type tub, you know what I'm talking about, your bubbles will overgrow it, so be careful. And if you just want to throw it in and turn your faucet on, you're gonna get some creamy bubbles like this. Not all of them are dying down, just a little bit. So there you go, you can see it for yourself. I always try and show you guys exactly what happens in, say, my tub, because that is what's going to happen in your tub. I don't edit much. I don't like to sugarcoat anything. I just like to show you what the product does, and the product speaks for itself. This one is a good product. I'm liking this one. Okay, so here are the foamy bubbles, which are actual bubbles. Like, you actually do get the bubble. And let's get into the water. Can you see? See how it's, can you see the sparkle or is the light not letting it come? There is golden sparkle. Something keeps hitting my arm. Oh, it's bath bomb. <laughs> it is golden sparkle all throughout this water. It's beautiful. A little twinkle. It is very, very beautiful. Very pretty. The watercolor is a gorgeous turquoise color. It really is beautiful. I'm assuming what lies beneath the golden egg, perhaps maybe the different eggs were different colors. So if anybody was lucky enough to get their hands on that sub box back when it came out, and I just could not really part with this one for the longest. Look at the bubbles are still there. Yay! <laughs> uh, let me know if your egg was a different color than mine. Because I am really, 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 really loving the scent of this egg. Oh man, I gotta ask her. What was the, what is the scent? You know, what is the fragrance and what other products she makes in that scent? She makes some amazing products. Like my husband fell in love with her soap. 
I fell in love with her charcoal soaps. Um, I loved her. She has a strawberry bath bomb. She does a lot of like um, duping of lush scents like I like. So any of you out there, you know, want to get a couple of cool lush scents and some different types. It's like a, she does do duping. It is really, really, really fun. I love dupes. I really do. I get a kick out of it. I even dupe my makeup palettes. <laughs> I will find dupes for all kinds of stuff. Who wants to pay $50 for a makeup palette when you can pay $15? I got a dupe for the peach palette. I got a dupe for the bonbon bon palette. I got a dupe for uh, the, the Hoodia palette. I got a dupe for everything. And I am slowly buying them all. <laughs> but because it's Christmas time, I am reverting every dime I have towards my children and my nephew and my husband. I want to make sure everybody has a good Christmas. So <laughs> um, until after Christmas, we won't be going too nuts with makeup uh, swatches and stuff like that and what products dupe, you know, the more expensive price products. Um, $50 for a, a palette with a two-year-old and an 11-year-old is not really too feasible in my life right now, but $15 to $20, even $30 may be more feasible for me, so I have started figuring out which ones were a dupe for which palette. Just so happens, I found a few. I found a dupe for the chocolate palette. I found a dupe for the white chocolate palette. I found I found dupes for everything, and it is amazing. And we will do a whole section on what dupes what. All right, guys, I love you. To the lovely owner of Nirvana Bath and Body, you are amazing. This sub box was so freaking cool; it's unreal, and I cannot wait to see what else she brings to the table throughout this whole next upcoming year. This is a really, it's a fairly new company to me. Not too new, but she was fairly new to me when she had first started out, and I fell in love from the get-go. Do you see the sparkles? Do you see it? I really enjoyed from the get-go her products, and my husband did, and it's kind of hard to please Richie. But when you please Richie, that's a good thing. It's kind of hard. He's not, he's not really all big into this stuff. He's really big into a bar coast, and that's it. That makes him happy. Irish Spring Coast. But when, you know... He fell in love with one of the scents from Witch Baby. He fell in love with one of the scents from Twisted Allure. He fell in love with a bath bomb from the Mad Bombers. He fell in love with uh, the Nirvana soaps and two of her bath bombs. And one of them is very feminine. But he loves the smell of it. <laughs> but anywho, he has fallen in love with some of uh, the companies that are used, some of their products. And every now and then he'll ask me, hey, uh, where was this from? Where was that from? Can you get another one of these? And then Mama's got to go ahead and search out another one. <laughs> Uh, just like uh, the Mrs. Claus scent from the Oz Sugar Sugar Company is my favorite, and he happens to love the Unicorn Something scent from that company. But uh, I am dying to get my hands on the Mrs. Claus fragrance again from the Oz Sugar Sugar Company. I am just not going to come out of pocket for that much money for the box of sugar. For me, no, because I don't use all those type of products in the box. I just like that one particular smell, you know? But she does have some pretty damn good products, and they are very hard to get your hands on. Because she only, like, does a restock, what, like, once a month or something like that, if that. All right, guys, instead of keeping you guys here for 15 friggin' minutes talking about other companies, Nirvana, Bath & Body, go check them out on Etsy. She's amazing. She has those sub boxes. This sub box was all the Brothers Grimm. It was so cool. If you missed out on that video, type in Corinna Grill, Nirvana, Bath & Body, and you will see that video. <laughs> I love you. I'll talk to you later.